Ashley Benson and Cara Delevingne's separation style has me gluttonous. Celebrity power couple Cara Delevingne and Ashley Benson appeared to be cooped up in quarantine together not long ago, learning TikTok dub smashes and hanging out with Kaya Gerber. When were we so young? A coterie of queer hearts were broken when the couple of two years apparently broke up, putting the issue of who will maintain the sex bench in limbo. I can't hide how disappointed I was to learn that Benson and Delevingne had broken up. After all, their wildly extramarital, kissing-in-the-bathtub relationship persona seemed like a long-overdue queering of hyper-public celebrity couples. Benson and Delevingne courageously seized the love that dares not speak its name, daring the public to care as they gallivanted around Los Angeles hand-in-hand, hand, blonde trust and blithely enamored with each other. Making out passionately on a yacht was no longer just for straight people. Even though it makes me sad to know that the two are no longer together, the way they handled their breakup gave me hope. Delevingne defended her ex on Instagram after allegations that Benson had rekindled their relationship with rapper g Easy surfaced. She said on her Instagram story, It's more vital now than ever to share love, not hate. Please quit criticizing it Ashley Benson. Everyone, you are not truthful. Only she and I work together, which is precisely how it ought to be. So goes the golden rule of lesbian breakups. I can point out my ex's shortcomings, but if you join in, God help you, you'll be facing a 30-minute eulogy on how wonderful she is. To be honest, queer women aren't always known for having amicable splits. We take a year to break up when a week would do, and then we like to remain roommates while still toughing it out at couples counseling. As chef and author Gabrielle Hamilton wrote in her memoir, Blood, Bones and Butter, The Inadvertent Education of a Reluctant Chef.